Good evening. evening, ladies and gents. Basically what's happening here is, for now, for this little period here, I have quite a lot of free time. And I just thought, you know, what can I do to, I entertain, to entertain myself? myself? Maybe entertain you guys, you know what I mean? So right now I'm heading into the gym to get a wee workout. I've not eaten yet today, so a little bit of fasted training never hurt nobody. And just I've got my class later tonight. Connor is taking the boys for run club today because I am compromised as far as my legs go, so I will not be running. So Connor's taking the boys for run club. We'll see how we get on. I'll see you guys at the gym. If you can't tell from my shiny skin and my glowing forehead, just finished a few rounds. Ooh. Got a sweat going, achieved. Now I'm gonna chill out for a bit and see what everyone else is up to. Workout done, we'll see what happens next. Eh? What's happening? So basically, finished my workout and I'm back in the house. I'm gonna go through this quickly because I am starving, mate. So about an hour until I go to the sauna and I need to eat something, so I'm about to boil. Oh, I'm about to boil my last egg. I'm gonna have to eat something else as well because that is not enough. I eat something quickly before I pass out and then we're gonna go to the gym, do a bit of, bit of workout and then get a proper sweat going in the sauna. Workout number two of the day, coming right up after meal number one. Let's go. We're here to get sweaty. First week, mate. First week. First week of camp. <laughs> Eight today. Three hex sausages, one boiled egg, two teaspoons of beans, pomodoro beans, a, ve a banana, an Oreo grenade bar, a chicken rice and broccoli, and that is us three meals deep, and we're only mid through the day. We are on 900. 900? No, I've done 900 today. I've got 900 to go. <sighs> What did we just do? Fucking 10 minutes to try to figure out why the wattage wasn't alright and then we just moved to intervals. 12, well we done one, one K one, yeah? And then 12 500 meter sprints with 20 seconds rest. You can see me. Killer, look at the sweat. That beard drip. Hey people. We were in the sauna. Done a few rounds in the sauna. Two so rounds. Training like a boxer. Unless the British box body control, then we weren't in the sauna. Then we weren't in the sauna. All right, troops. So just finished up in the sauna. It was getting hot in there, mate, obviously, but pure saps the energy out of you. But now I need to go straight to the gym and I've got my evening fit fast class with the team. Uh, it's strength day. So I'm gonna set up a nice wee session for them. It's gonna be a good hour. I'm gonna finish them off with a nice little 10 minute ab burner. So I'll see you there. Let's do this. Just finished my class and I'm here with Nathaniel and Connor is running the run club today. He is chairman of the run club for tonight and tonight only. Every night. I'm really proud of him for yeah. taking the boys out. Yeah. Harvey's got a severe injury, hasn't he? Yeah, it's a severe placebo injury. Yeah. A placebo effect. It's a sore vagina. <laughs> so we'll be back next week. Okay, good done. Yeah. What's up, homies? Basically today I've got another I've got another chill day, man. I don't have too much to do. So I've just tidied the flat. I'm gonna go and see my dad. Take the dog for a walk probably and have a coffee with my dad, go get a workout in and just have another productive day. Let's get in about it. Let's see what we can get up to today, see if we can do anything interesting. Hello. What is up? We're about to take the little dumpling on a little walk, me and the big big man. What are you saying? Right, we'll see you out there. It is a beautiful day in sunny Glasgow. We're out in the fields with the dumpling. Hey! Just talking about life. Isn't that right? That's right. That's right. Alright, mate. Alright, mate. <sighs> Just picked CJ up. No, CJ, what are we doing? We're uh, going to get a big Nando's. No, I'm kidding. We're going to work out is what the right answer would have been. That is the right answer. Too right. We're going to work out, then get a Nando's. Yeah, in that order, we're going to earn our Nando's. And everything in life is all to do with how much you put in and how much you get out. We're putting in the work and in return, we're able to eat a juicy Nando's. Am I right? 
Yeah, yeah, I fully agree with what you're saying, mate. This is what I'm this is what I'm preaching, you know. You said to me we should get a Nando's. And then what did I say to you? If we're getting a Nando's. Uh, he said patch the workout, let's get a Nando's. That's yeah. not what I said. I said if we're getting a Nando's then we definitely need to work, work out. out. Yeah, that's what he said. I was only joking guys, so I'll never. So you wanna go work out then get a Nando's? That's we can do that. If it just cuts to Nando's then we worked out. Trust me. Trust me, bro. We failed, mate. We never made it. Psych! Here we are in the gym. You thought we only went to Nando's, but we were here putting in the work. We've done an every minute on the minute. Whew. I'm fucked. That was solid. What are you saying to it? Everyone enjoy my double grill chicken wrap with the in it now. Talk to him. Woo! We earned it, mate. Let's go, Tim. Big boy things. Let's get an Andos, man. What's happening, guys? So we've just finished Nando's. Uh, it was so good, mate. I got a Perry Tamer wrap with Perry chips and coleslaw for a change. Change it up. What did you get, Con? I got a double grill fried. Perry fried. Garlic bread. 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 I was teasing them. I made them think that we didn't go yeah. to the gym and now you're stupid. If you believed me that I said I didn't go, you're stupid. Don't ever stupid. Don't uh, ever play yourself. Just just remember guys, in life there's gonna be a lot of people who want you to be something yeah. you're not. They want to like, crush your dreams. But just remember all the work that you've put in and all the things that you're passionate about, you will be successful. Facts. There's never been a, there's never been someone that's worked hard and put an honest graft every single day and kept themselves accountable that has not succeeded. It's not going to happen to you, mate. If you put in the graft, if you put in the work, you will, you will succeed. That's how it works. That's how winning is done. Some people are. <laughs> Some people <laughs> want it all. Good morning guys. So yesterday, which was Saturday, I didn't record anything because I was working all day. Today is Sunday is my only full day off of the week. It is 20 to 10 in the morning and I've got a sports massage. I'm gonna go get my legs rubbed up. He's gonna tell me what's wrong with me. And then hopefully the rest of the day we can get up to some interesting stuff, maybe play some badminton, get a workout in for sure. Off to get a sports massage. I'll see you guys there. Right, we're here getting a sports massage. Do you want to tell them what, what we're looking for, what we're doing? Hi there everyone. We are looking to clear a series of adhesions from Harvey's leg here. Um, ideally, we're wanting to reduce his chances of falling into or indeed deeper into the injury cycle. We've got a little bit of pain and discomfort in the right leg and in towards the left knee. So he knows what he's talking about guys. We'll get into it, I'll let you know how we get on. We've just had a look at my quad. Would you like to let them know what's happened? Absolutely, so we had some tightness at the upper hip towards the middle of the quad as well. We did have some particularly tight areas and some knotted muscles, little bits of muscle fiber stuck together and potentially restricted movement, potentially restricting safe contraction of the muscle too. Because they were saying I had a placebo injury. That's what they were saying yesterday. Oh, so yeah. we can agree it's a real injury. Oh yeah, definitely real. Real injury. Massage is over. I'm gonna let them know how we got on. So some absolutely cracking dysfunction and tightness along the upper trapezius here down into the supraspinatus underneath. Um, we think that that was causing a bit of havoc at the back, especially with contraction around the scapula. We also found that Harvey has, for lack of a better phrase, back biceps and his lower traps and lats from where he's been doing pull-ups. It's a good problem to have, but next kind of steps are more even training and spread of stuff in range of motion. Um, and also um, probably another couple of treatments to work on this stuff up here. So we're, we're fine, basically. I'll survive. All right, guys, so that is the sports massage over and done with. That was great. It's always good to know what's going on with your own body. Probably gonna go home and eat now and then come back for some badminton at some point. So I'm gonna see you guys shortly. 
What's happening folks? So a little detour happened there. Um, I had to go and pick up the new Fit Fast hoodies. I'm going to meet up with Jay Gribbs and we're going to play some badminton, do a session in the gym and then hit the spa, hit the sauna and get a sweat going. Young Gribbs. What's up? You ready to play some badminton? Absolutely friggin' lovely. It's about to get real smoky out here. It's about to get real smoky for Jack Gribbon when he realises the big man is rubbish. Is the badminton champ. Obviously, I'm gonna win. <laughs> As you guys have just seen, I've given Jack Gribbon an absolute hiding. He's going to teach me how to be Roger Federer. So, I used to be really good at tennis. Jack Gribbon is currently really good at tennis, apparently. So he's going to teach me how to play. Big man versus tennis. Uh, I'm gonna keep this can keep this simple. Anyone can get it. My Instagram is at Jack Gribbon. Send me all your threats and uh, <laughs> we can settle it out on the tennis court. For real, for real. Oh. What a successful day. Um, we played some badminton, we done some tennis. Jack Gribbon taught me how to play tennis again, which is which is really good for me because I, I sort of lost my touch. Uh, as you saw from those clips, uh, I actually really improved and I'm getting really good now, so. Fit fast. You know what I mean? Oh, wrong one.